What's up guys? Today, Epic Games it gave us a little update just kind of on the status of Fortnite. They addressed a few concerns the community has had recently and talked about what we could expect next. And all in all, this was a fantastic update. They are on top of things and I wanted to kind of go through it and let you guys know what's going on. So the first thing that they tackled is the one thing that's been on everybody's mind for the past couple of days. And that's the SMG situation in this game. So for a while, I mean, the SMGs have been in from the very, very first day, but they really weren't all that notable. And then more recently, we've seen more and more SMGs pop up. You know, we had the addition of the drum gun and we had kind of some buffs to like the silenced SMG and stuff like that. And then more recently, we got the compact SMG, which was absolutely insane, totally overpowered. And it happened to come on the same day that they nerfed buildings. So it was even more of a big deal. I mean, there was like a day and a half where this game instantly switched to an all SMG meta for a little bit and uh, they quickly corrected that. You guys know like a, a day and a half or two later, they fixed it and they nerfed it back again, but they wanted to kind of talk to us about it. So they said that their goal is to create a viable alternative to shotguns and close quarters combat. And I agree with that. Like I, I, I like having options. They said that shotguns are more about timing and precision, whereas SMGs are more of that run and gun kind of spray and pray type play style, which is fine if it's balanced. When it ends up being like the compact SMG was, that's when it gets a little bit out of hand because you could spray somebody down and kill them before they even got the second shotgun shut off. So obviously, it was overperforming. They admitted it. They said that they nerfed it for that reason, and uh, they want to make sure that it excels only in close quarters combat because this thing was pretty good at medium range too. And uh, they said that they want SMGs to be a good choice, but not the only choice. So obviously they know what they're doing there. They nerfed it. They're going to keep an eye on it. If they need to nerf it more or buff it back a little bit, depending on how things shake out, they're going to do that. But they ultimately just want you to be able to choose between two options for close quarters, either a shotgun or an SMG, or you could do both, but they want them to be equally viable in different ways, which totally makes sense. Now, Moving on, the second thing that a lot of people have been complaining about per se, and I, I don't see these as big of an issue, like they're a little issue, but they're, they're not as big as the, the compact SMG was. Those are the remote explosives. So building is obviously what sets Fortnite apart from all the other games out there. Like it, it's what makes this game unique. It's what makes it so addicting. Like it's one of the most fun aspects of this game in my opinion. Like learning to build, getting better at building, outplaying your opponents via building, that kind of thing. That's what truly makes Fortnite Fortnite. And uh, part of the problem with the compact SMG is that it completely annihilated that function of the game. Like you, you could literally break walls faster than somebody could turbo build them if you were spraying at it with the compact SMG and that's part of why it was so bad. Well, C4 or the remote explosives are kind of the same way. I mean, up until this point, they do a lot of damage. They've got a big explosion radius. So, I mean, you could set down two or three of these things and you're taking down an entire building in an instant. And, uh, you know, there is kind of a, a you know, kind of a, a, a checks and balances there. Cause like, it, yes, if you're good at building, you should be able to, to, you know, have the advantage, get the high ground, et cetera, on players. But if somebody's not as good at building, but they dedicate a slot to C4, I mean, that is kind of a balance there that they can take you down, which is a good thing. But a lot of people would argue that it's, it's a little bit too much up until this point. And that's why Epic has made a tiny change to these things. So uh, they said that they nerfed the explosion radius a little bit. So you're gonna need to be able to put down more C4 to get the same effect now. And uh, they also said that it must now stick to something before being detonated. So somebody's not gonna be able to rush at you, throw a C4, have it right there in your face and blow it up, which was a little bit spammy. I agree with that change. So those are the two changes they've made to it so far. And they said that they're considering a reduction in the drop amount, both in terms of how often they show up, as well as the number you actually pick up from the drops, as well as the stack size. So right now you can carry up to 10. They may nerf it down to like eight or five or something like that. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but they said they're looking into this. We may see a change as soon as version 5.2, which would happen next week, but um, we just have to wait and see. So uh, they could be nerfing those a little bit more. So we'll see how that works out. Now, finally, the last thing they wanted to talk about was a new update on a new item, new item coming to Fortnite. And that my friends, is the guided missile launcher. It's coming back. So this was easily one of the most hyped weapons that everybody was excited about when it was first announced. Such a cool idea, you know, old school golden eye vibes and stuff like that. Like absolutely fun weapon, led to a bunch of crazy moments and top plays and rocket riding and stuff like that. But eventually people 
kind of took advantage of it. It got a little bit spammy. The end game was just a bunch of people sitting in one by ones with a roof with one section of it edited out, just firing off missile after missile chasing people down. And yeah, if you were good at building, you could pretty much protect yourself most of the time, but it was just, it was an annoying end game type of deal. Well, they're bringing it back and this time it's gonna be a little bit different. So they've reduced the movement speed of the rocket, which it was already pretty slow. They've reduced the turning radius, so you're gonna kinda of turn a lot slower, you're not gonna be able to get it in those nooks and crannies. And they reduced both the damage and the damage radius. So overall, this thing they said is gonna be a little bit more of like a scouting type weapon rather than a damage dealing type weapon. It still will do damage, but its use is gonna be more for checking things out, seeing what's going on, maybe taking out a wall for your teammates to be able to shoot in the base or something like that, but it's not gonna be something like it used to be where you can actually get a bunch of kills with it, which I think is a, a good move. Like it, it was a fun scouting weapon just to be able to check on what other people are doing. If it's not doing that much damage, it's definitely not gonna be overpowered and it leads to a lot of crazy moments. Like I'm just thinking about all the crazy rocket ride plays and like picking up your teammates when they're down and bringing them back to you and stuff like that. Like it was just a really fun weapon that got a little bit too much. So uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna be a lot more balanced this time. And uh, I don't know, it's gonna be one of those things that do you wanna trade it out for your, you know, meds or for your grenade launcher? Maybe, maybe not. It kind of depends on the situation. It's going to be a little bit more balanced in that regard. So uh, there you guys have it. Those are the updates going on. I think overall, very good stuff coming out of Epic. I think we had a, a bit of a, a fluky week last week, a couple days ago with that SMG, but it seems like we're starting to get things figured out. And I'm excited for the return of this guided missile launcher. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you guys did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.